Hey guys, this is Jason Cree. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Lufia 2. In the bar. I've been watching a lot of Nakatalili lately, and I just have this random thing stick in my head. Hope you don't mind. Anyway, last time we left off, uh, we reached this part of the dungeon to get the, our newest capsule monster, Radisher. And for this guy, I got a name already. We're gonna get Sully. <laughs> it's like from Monsters, Inc. You know, the big blue guy's name was Sully. I'm sorry, I can't keep that. That's a good name, actually, but I can't keep it. I need to name it Sonic. After Sonic Blue Sky Face. Inaba. God, friggin'. I swear to God, if you, get, if you haven't watched it, go watch Naka's Persona 4 Let's Play so far. It's so funny. But anyway, um... We're gonna try and get through a lot of this dungeon. If you look over here, the locked door is right over there. I don't want him to walk any closer because I'll run into this guy, but... Locked door right there, remember that, because we might be... I might just go there off screen. Um... Go. Anyway, if you remember correctly, I said this was a terrible, terrible dungeon, and... I actually misread it. I thought of some other dungeon. This one's not so bad. Um, I'm trying to remember where to go now. Oh, okay, here we go. Ah, be right back. Okay, welcome back. Let's see if we can actually do this! Now, for this part, you want to jump down to this first ledge, and then walk on this side. Don't forget to walk on that side. Oh god, this room. Um, I'm just gonna knock them all out and I'll be right back. Okay, I may go ahead and show off this fight. These guys are Tengus. They're kind of annoying. Ooh, Cyclone Wave! I guess it's a good thing I showed off this fight. This move is freaking awesome. Mmm, 400. Tengus aren't particularly powerful or anything, and I'm just going to skip these guys. They're just regular monsters, pretty much. We're actually doing a lot good on time. I wasn't expecting to get this far. Uh, let's go ahead and get our hammer out. So anyway, um, if you haven't noticed, I put out my... Oh, in this dungeon, or in this chest, we get a light potion. I just recently put out my one year uh, Let's Playing video. It was pretty good. And I kind of gave a hint for the LP after this one. Um, so I'm, I'm sure some people caught on. It's pretty easy, I guess. Anyway, if you, you can't use your hammer on the spikes. No matter how hard you try. So make sure you reach this part and blow through it. That's why I said it kind of replaces the hammer. It's for, I mean, the bomb, sorry. Anyway, we're, we're done in that room. Now we just gotta go the normal way. That was pretty much a secret... It was a secret passage! Anyway. Um... Damn it. I forgot the way. I know this is the way to the door, though. And in here we get... The Snake Rock. Is the owner Orochimaru? Uh, who knows. Uh, let's see if that thing's good for anything. Wow, it's a piece of shit. Never mind, we're not touching that thing. With a mile high stick. Anyway, if I can remember how to do this, I think it's this way. Here we go. Uh trying to think of what to talk about. That's kind of the problem with these dungeons. They give you, oh yeah, down below there's a room full of monsters we're gonna have to fight, so might as well just go ahead and do this. I can guarantee I'm gonna say be right back. Okay, I went ahead and cut out two fights so I could get the burn sword. Very, very good weapon for this dungeon, in particular. Gonna go ahead and equip that to 
Creedykins. There we go. And hopefully we can get out of this room with no problem, as I thought. And in this chest we get the flower key! Now we actually haven't wasted that much time, so let's just go ahead and walk back. It's a short walk. I thought I thought the episode would have ended there, but I'm actually really good on time. Because um, I test ran it like five minutes ago, and it took me quite a while to get there. So um, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I hope I have to go this way, so let's try it. But anyway, that's a, the real problem with this game, and there's a lot of bland dungeons and just places you really don't have to go. I mean, there's no real motive. Actually, these are new enemies. Let's just fight them. There's no real motive to all this, because it's not part of the story. You're not facing Sinistrals or anything. The boss for this place is a freaking joke. Um, and it's just to save a girl. I mean, a girl we just met, a girl we have no real relationship with. So, it makes you think this is really kind of pointless. Uh, be right back. Oh, never mind. We're good. Be right back. Anyway, I hope you guys don't mind me test running the dungeons before I go in them. Because I'd rather they didn't take too long. I like them taking one episode. It's really... Like, if you knew the mass of... Oh my god, teleporting fools. If you knew that how many dungeons are in this game, you would agree that having them take one episode is really nice. There's like over 30 dungeons, 20 to 30 in this game alone. I don't know why I changed the hammer, I just like the hammer, but here's the boss. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm all ready to go. Look at this thing! This is a boss for a dungeon. I always thought this was sad. I mean, come on. Anyway, let's completely wreck this thing with Firestorm and Fireball. This thing will not last a friggin' instant with you. As long as you have the Burn Sword and Salon using Fireball at a time, this will be a joke. Watch. Boom. 650. The guy alone does 200 damage. It's, it's a joke. Except guys... Oh, wow. Guy woke up that fast. As I said, joke. That's why I don't like these bland, no-point dungeons, because the bosses here are really un- I can really say the bosses in these dungeons are very uncreative. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Lufia too, I love Lufia, but um... Just the, the bosses they come up with aren't very good, to say the least. Anyway, if we just keep on going with this, this will be like a joke. See, there we go. We get 48,000 experience! And I am like doing amazing on time. That only took 12 minutes, and I have to cut out battles. Gosh, that was like freaking crazy time. I didn't think I'd finish it that fast. Anyway, isn't this the flower leaf I was looking for? It's a giant flower, I thought. <clears throat> but it's so pretty. This has got to be the one. Alright, let's bring it back. And we get the pretty flower. Really, you can't give a flower a name. Come on. I guess I'm a little picky, but really? <laughs> um, can we get rid of that? Actually, we're just going to be teleporting out of here and teleporting to the city, so who cares? Uh, let's escape. I remember that dungeon being a lot harder, but uh, I guess not. I might have been thinking about something else. Oh crap, I'm with this giant laboratory! Again. And since I'm too lazy, I walked like down five feet, I'm going to just teleport there again. Oh my god, I did it again! I did that! Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, let's go ahead and give this, um, 
Sunflower to Leafa. Leafa, wake up! It didn't look like she was really asleep. I had a really good rest. Good morning. Here you are. This, this flower is the one I saw. Good, so this was the right one. Yeah, the one protected by the boss. It better be the right one. Wouldn't it suck if you fought a boss and brought this flower back and it wasn't the right one? That would suck. We brought this flower back to you. Or back to give you. Are you giving this to me? No, we're we're selling it for 1,000 gold. Or gold. If you plant this and make more, you can sell them at a good price. I don't know how to take care of flowers anyway. <laughs> Who do you think Salon is? Yay, she's gonna give Salon one. Would you name it? Uh, I don't know what to name a flower. Oh, Perfia. I guess Perfia's okay. It's better than Jer Rose. I mean, come on. Salon is bad at giving names. But, um. Salon is really bad at making names. Like, Jer Rose? Come on. But at least Rafi is kind of pretty. <clears throat> so I'm gonna guess I'm around 12 minutes since I gotta cut out fights. So um, let's uh, talk to some people. Lexus is at the port. Oh, cool. Where are you? Lexus. Lexus! Lexus! Oh, there he is. Oh, Creed, where have you been? The engine and ship are already done. Oh, wow. Guess it's a good thing we went through that whole dungeon! Ah! Oh my god, that thing's fast as shit! Amazing, aren't it? Sorry if I'm going by the text too fast. I always apologize I'm going by the text too fast, because I think I am, but oh well. You know, if you won't read it so much, just pause. I take my hat off to you, Lexus. This engine thing is amazing. It's really a dream invention. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> I'm so full of myself. Anyway. Lexus, the ship yours, the ship's yours if you, I can use your laboratory too. I want to try to invent something. Well, not everyone can actually invent something, but you mean it. No charge for the ship? That's what I said. Even though he went all that way to get that phantom tree. Whatever. <laughs> Exurion. I might call it the Excalibur, so I can be like, Excalibur! Excalibur! From the United Kingdom! Ah, oh, I forgot how the song goes. It's awesome, though. That's an awesome Soul Eater reference. And with that, we get Lexus to join our party. No! Don't leave! I wanted to buy him stuff. Anyway, with that, we are free to roam the ocean. And this is part of the game that I take the time to grind a shit ton. So I may level up quite a deal. Anyway, Lexus is only level 28, so I will be leveling up off-screen. What the f- Dude! I went through a ship! And- I went from a ship and it ported me up to the top of town? What the hell, game? You know what, I'm just getting it off here. Next time on Lufia 2, we're gonna do something. See you guys next time. Freaking boat. <sighs>